Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's recently finished actually, so it's taken me a while, but um, it's all my retro influences. So where did you find the table and chairs? Um, well, fair enough, they came from um, from Canada. Of course, uh, yeah. I can kind of tell, they got a hint of maple. <laughs> yeah, um, just basically uh, through the internet and uh, probably over eight months of research, wow. just slowly getting things together, you know. And you got something everywhere. And I yeah. see a little something over there. Is that your artwork? Uh, these are the pieces, my most recent pieces, they're uh, drying on the radiator. Oh. And um, I've got almost finished piece over here, which I'm still working on for my future show. Basically, I've always been um, inspired by 50s and 60s uh, culture, music uh, and style. Yeah. So hence my, um, my Lambrettas, I think there's Vespers mixed in there, uh, with the classic um, British sort of target. It, it links into my London work because obviously um, the 60s were swing, swing in London. Right. I was born in the 60s yeah. and my parents were young. So that's part of what I do. And Paul, beyond what we have right here in front of me, there are pictures everywhere. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Um, this one's called London 2012. Right. So in that particular piece, you'll be able to see, obviously, um, the Queen's flotilla, a reference to, to Mo Farrow and Bradley Wiggins. And the fellow with the hat and the cigar? That's, um, that's obviously Churchill. Um, it's in Parliament Square, where there's okay. actually a statue of Churchill. There's a 1967 beetle driving around Parliament Square, which is what I had until recently. This your beetle here? You can so see your love of London. I always put uh, a shamrock on the south side of the Thames, because right. my grandfather was Irish and an artist, uh, an actor, and basically um, he lived in between Tower Bridge and London Bridge and obviously I visited him every weekend growing up as a child. Um, I used to watch him paint and uh, in his studio. So, so is, is he your sort of inspiration? Is that how you got started? And he's, my first, he's my first major inspiration. Yeah, your um, mentor. Yeah. He's your grandfather. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And so can you show me where the, the shamrock is? Yeah. yeah. Red is the only color yeah. I think that you use it's purely because um, it's such an iconic London image. Great. It's a Route Master London bus. My dad, when I was growing up, was a bus driver, so I used to go and sit behind him oh. in, in the cab because it's a one single cab, yeah. so I used to knock on the window while he was driving. Okay, so if they were looked in the dictionary for London guy, this would be you. Well, it would say yeah. see Paul. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> And 
there could be no truer words than here with Paul Hiles at his show. We went to his house the other day and now we're going to go talk to some people and see what they think about his outstanding work. I've known Paul for quite a long time, about 15 years. I think with respects to his art, um, I, I knew that he was very talented. He was kind of in denial that he was very talented. Um, so uh, quite a few of us encouraged him to progress his art um, and apply for um, you know, art uh, exhibitions and competitions. One of his mo most successful prizes is the Derwa Prize, an international um, um, prize at the Mall Galleries in London right. that he won about three years ago. Um, but he's done several exhibitions all over the country um, and there's quite a lot of people um, who admire his work on his website um, yeah. from all over the world. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's done really well. We're all really proud of him. He's a fantastic person as well. He's got a very good sense of humour. and he's, um, I think the most striking thing is very, he's very passionate about his work. He works really hard producing this work after his day job yeah. as well, till the early hours of the morning. Where do you know how to start on these? I mean, do you just... <laughs> yeah, I basically do the curvature of the art first. Okay, yeah, because I wondered that, because yeah. I was looking at the yeah. sort of perspective. That it... That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I balance out my sky and... Uh, <laughs> So I get the percentage there, see if it works, and then I try and get focal points. And is it all true or is there some...? No, no. no it's not true. I've known him for a number of years because he used to work with my husband. Okay. So we have been going to all his exhibitions. Yeah. And so you've seen him progress through, through time? Yes, and I have been to his house. I have seen how he paints in his kitchen. Right. <laughs> I went to his house. Yes. It's amazing. We hope he becomes world famous. <laughs> People are starting to turn up now, so it's, it's great people looking at my work. What do you think about with Courtyard Arts, where you began? Yeah, it's fantastic because I remember having my first show there in 2007. I did a, a science degree and then I started to focus on my art, which I hadn't done for a few years. And um, it's developed to the point where we are now, which is um, quite amazing, like a, a nine year span. Yeah. So I feel quite uh, quite proud. Yeah. I would I would think so. And do you often get back to courtyard? Is that something um, that you? Yeah, I go there most months to me. It's just just to see what's on. Other people, other artists, to see what they're producing. Great. People are always nice and friendly there, so I'm always welcome. So. Yeah. To get back into my creativity was um, was a great thing, and they were just so friendly and helpful. Um, it just seemed natural great. to sort of. Um, to, to ask him this time actually, years later, because yeah. I'm used to showing in London, so to show in Hertfordshire um, is slightly different for me, but um, it's great because they're such helpful, nice people. Right, and so for young artists now, do you see a really um, important place for Courtyard into the future? Yeah, definitely, because uh, I think um, a few days ago they were interviewing for uh, an artist in residence, and yeah. then four completely different um, genres and um, different types of art, so I, I feel they'll. Uh, they're just sort of pushing the barriers a bit and we need that sort of thing in half year, just like this, like a, you know, a creative hub. This is the iconic 1962 Lambretta, which is a major collector's item now and mint condition. It's just the style of it, isn't it? Italians had style, you know. We don't, you know, that's why it was used in London. Yeah. Purely for style, not for speed. So Pierre, what do you think, your first night and your first show? Well, I'm really excited about it. I mean, it, it was a bit tricky pulling all the work up, but I think it's been worth it. And Paul is a really fantastic artist. He's produced some uh, memorable images, and uh, you can see he's very passionate about it. So I'm, I'm very glad to be involved in it. Yeah. It says a lot for Courtyard, don't you think? Yeah, I think, I think it's amazing to get someone like Paul for the Courtyard. and. Uh, um, long may that continue. Yeah, here, here.
Bye.